Hello and welcome back to Foodie Mom's Kitchen. Today we're going to see how to make an easy uh, prawn dry fry, which is made in Kerala style. Now that's the ingredient list. We need some fresh prawns for this dish. About 250 grams of prawns, two teaspoons of Kashmiri red chilli powder, one teaspoon of cumin powder, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. One and a half teaspoon of ginger garlic paste, some salt and coconut oil for frying. I'm going to show you the ingredients that we're going to grind in the mixer. Half an onion, one chilli, some curry leaves and half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. You can use about six to seven curry leaves that should do and grind it into a fine paste. After grinding, that's how the onion paste looks. I'm going to transfer this to a small bowl. Now into the bowl, I've got this onion paste in the bowl. Into the bowl, I'm going to add in the cumin powder, the Kashmiri red chilli powder, about two teaspoons. In goes the ginger garlic paste and salt as well. I'm going to mix it all well together. And this is going to be the raw masala for the prawns. Adding the ginger garlic paste and a little quantity of salt. How the mixture looks after it's mixed very well. Heat about 3 tablespoons of coconut oil in a pan. You can also use a normal oil. I prefer using coconut oil because it gives that authentic Kerala flavor. Once the oil is heated up, I'm adding the mixed masala to it and we're going to mix the masala well with the oil and cook it for a few minutes. Sauteing it all together, mixing it up well with the oil. Once you see the oil uh, floating on top, it's time for us to add about a small cup of water. We're doing this once again to cook the masala thoroughly and to ensure that the raw smell does not exist. In goes a small cup of water. Cooking it again. The water has now reduced, which means you would not find or have the raw smell of the masala. I'm just checking the salt content because before we add the prawns, I'm adding another half a teaspoon of salt at this time because I felt that it was less. You can adjust this according to your taste. One teaspoon of garam masala, this is optional. You can add it if you prefer to or you can uh, even cook it without the garam masala powder. Time to add the prawns. Depending on the size of the prawns, prawns take very less time to cook. If you overcook them, they turn out to be rubbery and they don't taste good. If you want to retain that beautiful flavor and taste of prawns, make sure that you cook it for less than 5 minutes. Should be anywhere between 3 to 5 minutes. I'm just adding quarter cup of water here. Just very little water so that the masala and the prawns get cooked together. I'm going to cover it with a lid and cook for exactly 5 minutes. Shouldn't take more than that. Okay, the water has considerably reduced after 5 minutes. Dropping in some curry leaves now. More curry leaves enhances the flavor again. I'm sure you remember that we had added a few curry leaves while grinding the onion paste. We've added some more here. The prawns are beautifully done, very well cooked. They taste very good with rice. The prawns are ready now. Good to be served. I hope you like the dish. Please try preparing it at home and hit the like button if you enjoyed watching this video and do subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching and until we meet again with a new recipe, 
थैंक यू फ्रॉम फूडी मॉम्स किचन बाय बाय